Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Six Cats Under, a game about protecting cats from the afterlife. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, how clumsy of me. Reading is more dangerous than I thought. Oh no, what about my precious kitties? Stuck in this apartment, how will they survive? I must get the front door open so they can run free. I'm not sure if that's technically safer, and maybe not good for the bird environment, but better than them dying, I guess? In my favorite horror stories, ghosts can communicate by influencing their environment. Let me see if there's anything in the room that can help. The screen. Oh, look, we're like a little old woman ghost, which is cutely sad. In fact, the whole premise is kind of cutely sad. Okay, we have way too many cats in this apartment. I'm sorry, cat lady. Like, look at your bathroom. It's it's four stacked. Uh, let's count them. One, two, two cats, three cats. Four looks kind of dirty. Four, five, six, seven cats, like Neko Atsumi in here. Eight, nine cats. Ten cats, eleven cats, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Twelve cats? Might miss one, I don't know. That's a lot of cats. Oh dear. What a mess. But never mind that. I need to find a way to help my precious kitties escape the apartment. Yes, never mind that body. The only way out. If only my poltergeist powers were strong enough to open it. Oh, what? Who? Oh. Budge. Uh, am I gonna cook the fish? I can't see he's being helpful right now. Hmm, that's gonna be used for something. I'm too weak to open these. How will my cats eat, meow? They don't have thumbs. Oh, we fed the fish. I don't understand the goal of feeding the fish yet. This tin of beans is a heavy one. I can't move it. Is this what they mean by superfood? That's <sighs> Frederick. He's a very sleepy boy. Usually I can only get his attention when there's tasty food involved. <coughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Spock. He's usually quite shy, but Cabinet turns into a bit of a rascal. Last week, he tore up my new curtains. I'm too weak to open this. Aerobic exercises clearly don't carry over to the afterlife. It's empty and too heavy for me to move. There's no way I have enough power to open these heavy doors. this turned, that does something. A pot of catnip. Some my cats really go wild for it. Probably gotta, like, blow the catnip smell down. I never would've kept all these heavy books if I'd known how dangerous they were. You hear it here, books kill. Don't read. Family photos, what precious memories. I do hope my sweet babies find a new home now that I'm gone. I mean, they're cats, they find homes. Ah, Baroness. She sure does like the TV. Especially when I'm watching my baking shows. So cute. My taste in decorations was impeccable to the very end. These are too heavy. Nothing useful here. I'm afraid only my favorite issues of Cats Weekly. This knitting basket is a bit too heavy for me to push. I'm sure someone as stronger could manage. 
And that's Pumpkin. I wish you were trying to get along with the other kitties. But there's just no taming that little missy. A sponge, Pop! I mean... Spongy, sponge. What are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna watch anime, Pat. I mean... Portrait? That sucks, Spongebob. That anime sucks. <laughs> Ponyo and Clancy. They both love it in the hammock. I don't blame them. It looks very cozy. <laughs> this is Joffrey. He's such a clever boy, but easily spooked. That might make him the easiest cat to influence. Interesting. Excellent double click here. Looks like Edgar is having a snooze. These favorite nap times are mid morning and noon. Early afternoon, late afternoon, and mid evening. He sleeps most of the night, too. Oh, I think that's Pickle in there. She's a very fussy eater. It's Sniffles. He likes chilling in the bathroom. I wish I could give him a cuddle. Rufus, what a cutie. He has the softest fur. Deborah is probably looking for leftover treats from her last trip to the vet. Meow. Meow. Hey. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Meow. Rose and kitty litter. It smells more like old candy floss, but the cats like it. Shampoo for me, shampoo for the kitties. Ghosts don't show up in mirrors the more you know. It's important to have enough litter boxes. Nobody wants a queue. No, oh, I opened the door. Thank you. That's right, do your cat stuff. He's the cleverest cat. Oh, he slid, he, look, he zoomed past. That's right, Pumpkin. That cat zoomed past. What you gonna do about it? I feel like I have to manipulate you for right now. So we've gotten you by. Okay. Let's turn... Move the kid there. Holy crap, what? Rawr. Will you like cake? She's so concentrated, it's like the rest of the world doesn't even exist. Okay, so we got you distracted with that. I don't know what that's gonna accomplish yet. Sweet. Oh, we can try to fly down. Look, it's going after it. It's knocking the thing over. Now I'll follow this. Come on. So yeah, that's why you distract that cat. That's a good cat. You play with that. Play with that thing. You play with that real good. Squeak. Yeah, you play with that mouse real good, cat. You play with that mouse real good. Now play with that towel. Oh, yeah. You're doing cat stuff. That's real good cat stuff. Now we need to keep you moving. Okay, now we can flood it. Because there's a towel there. I guess. Oh no, poor kitty! We have to 
Angelo, are you always back? Well, I've turned the stove on. I don't know that does anything. Don't tell me we gotta cook the fish. Let me turn the line wrong so he doesn't run all the way down there. Let's see. Go, cat. That, that scares him more. Eat the fish. Oh god, we are cooking the fish! Oh no! We are a fish murderer! Well, it is a game about cats. Hey buddy, wake up. Fish. Okay, that was some... That was some stuff at the end there. You're all free now. Also, I'm dead. Someone kept my body. Seriously. So that's it for six cats under, which actually featured 12 cats. But, it's a pun on six feet under. But it did feature 12 cats. Which somehow bothers me. I don't know why. So, the cats are free. So they won't starve. Which I guess is good. Well, they're being let loose in an apartment. I don't know if they can really get out of the apartment right away. I mean, they're cats, they'll figure it out. Maybe our folks will adopt them. Um, but we did lose a fish. We did sacrifice the fish in the process. But arguably that fish was even more doomed than the cats. I mean, it was a goldfish in a spawn bowl. It, it, it wasn't living much of a life. But, cute game. Although, kind of cute, considering the, the premise is, oh, we died. I gotta make sure my cats escape onto the streets. I, I somewhat don't feel satisfied. I, I both, I feel accomplished and not accomplished at the same time. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a very conflicting feeling. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Six Cats Under. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.